the Taurus. So let's see what messages we have. This is for March 22nd through 28th. What guidance do we have? The Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for March 22nd through March 28th. What messages, what guidance do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? This is for March 22nd through March 28th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Give me guidance for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for March 22nd. All right. So we have grounding, okay? Let's see here. You long for the free and open worlds of spirit and light, yet you also yearn to experience the healing power and divine joy of sacred sound and living color. You are meant to bring joy, beauty, and comfort to this world. To share, your, to share the spiritual light, to do so, you need grounding. Your dreams want you just as much as you want them. Grounding helps you bring your dreams to life in your, in your world for the benefit of many. All right. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you need to stay grounded this week. Okay. So let's see what messages we have. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for March 22nd through March 28th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for March 22nd, March 23rd, March 24th, March 25th, March 26th, March 27th, March 28th, 2020. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, underline energy nine of cups fulfillment of wishes. This deck is the f f it's the f f f fulfillment of wishes. I feel like for a lot of you guys, Taurus, you have fulfillment of wishes. Ooh, it's a dream come true, baby. Okay, sweet sweet dream dream. But you gotta have patience here. Temperance here. Divine timing is at play right now so you do have to have patience while things grow i feel like here with the tower there could be um some sort of disruption um so i do feel like all of a sudden some things could kind of take form or blossom for you okay stay grounded even though things are blossoming and i feel like you're aware that things are blossoming this is about staying grounded this is about really being in the space of being grounded with the truth here i feel like judgment there's some decisions that may need to be made someone could be in a space of going with awareness and truth this is like having an awakening um seeing the truth of something or seeing something clearly okay monday monday tuesday wednesday thursday so friday we have Four of Swords here, rest and rejuvenation. So some of you guys may be going through an awakening. You may need to rest, especially if you're going through an ascension. Eight of Swords here, but there is some restrictions, some interferences here. I feel like for, for a lot of you guys, if you're dealing with interferences in your life right now, go within yourself. Retreat from the interferences, even if the interferences don't have anything to do with your actual life. If it's just, you guys know what's going on in the world right now. If it's social media, if it's the collective as a whole go within yourself be the light um shining through the dark here like don't allow the collective energies to draw you down so we have temperance here patience why is this temperance here i'll be god damn it all right so we have Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, and the All White. So you're on a path to happiness here, King of Cups here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this Queen of Pentacles could be you. Um, Queen of Pentacles is usually Virgo energy, but it could be you because this is the Taurus reading. You could be in a space of really seeing. Now, some of you guys could be making a, a, a compassionate decision here to abandon success of something to move toward happiness for yourself you could be in a space of extending your energy moving forward or you could have mastered your emotions around a situation with the hermit or some of you guys could be walking away from a virgo because we got hermit here now the pinnacles thinking about gaining your independence so some of you guys are thinking about gaining your independence there's an emotional withdrawal that is happening here and i feel like for a lot of you guys this is putting you on a space of going toward your fulfillment of wishes. I don't know if you're actually walking away from a situation or emotionally you're in a space of this like infinite cycle within your emotions to find happiness. I feel like if you're dealing with the water sign, you could be in a space of walking away and allowing your concerns to fade away. King of Cups is uh, Cancerian energy. 
that king of cups but that king of cups is a masculine it could be any water sign it could be you you know what i'm saying so with this um tower here there's a disruption here why is this tower here why is this tower here why is this tower here we have the ten of pentacles here so for some of you guys that could be a release of a relationship no it doesn't look like it looks like someone's taking a leap of faith now there now i feel like someone five of swords for five of wands four of swords someone could be in a space of retreating from a conflicting situation something that was in low negative vibration um i feel like the the disruption here it may be a disruption in a commitment but i don't feel like it i feel like this is a sudden change Someone is making a decision here. Lovers, Ace of Cups, to move forward. Now, the Moon card here may be the disruption. So there could be some fear that needs to be released in order for you to move forward. Removing yourself from conflict. Retreating from conflict. Retreating from negative or fear-based thoughts. There's going to be a sudden... There's something that is going to suddenly take place here. With the full energy, there's an unexpected opportunity here. I feel like it has to do with the relationship or with a lover. You could also have an, uh, a disruption to wealth in some way, shape, or form. Um, I'm not sure if it may be a disruption in a family situation. So it could also be just the tower. The tower is a disruption. Just because I say disruption, I might need to stop saying disruption. Because when we hear disruption, I know it's like, oh my God. But disruption is just a change so there is a change that is happening in it i feel like the change has to do with a relationship um whether you're in a relationship if you're in a relationship disruption may be you releasing that relationship so that you can move toward emotional fulfillment if you're not in a relationship the disruption might be you moving toward one especially with the empress ace of wands and the judgment here so why is this empress here why is this empress here this is for tuesday why is this empress here why is this empress here for Tuesday? Why is this empress here for Tuesday? We have the emperor. Star. Chariot. Someone is seeing the bigger picture, standing up for what they believe. Someone is gaining control of what they desire and moving forward here. Someone's finding their motivation to move forward. Now, you could have a new beginning with an Aries, with an Aquarius, with a Cancer here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's something new that is beginning. I feel like these may not actually be signs. You could be dealing with one of these signs, but this is more energy. These are major events. There's something major that is beginning in your life, and I feel like it's something that you have manifested or something that you desire. Um, I feel like because you're your persistence in standing up for what you believe around your passions around a relationship for some of you guys emperor emperor empress four of wands here this could be a twin flame type of energy you could be in a in the beginning stages of a union here so we have or and just because we have beginning stages of a union don't mean you automatic you could be in a relationship you could be getting into one or you could be just beginning that is something that magician here awareness something that you are aware of something that you have manifested through your own awareness why is this magician here why is this magician here we have the seven of cups here with the six of wands and the nine of wands so some of you guys are being very persistent and really taking action here with the seven of cups here i feel like for a lot of you guys there could be some changes that are happening. There could be a lot of things that are happening. I feel like you need to be more aware of what's actually going on. You're moving toward victory, and I feel like you're needing to establish your strength to remove any confusion that you have. Become, again, more aware of what you've manifested. So for a lot of you guys, you could have manifested something new, but you could be in the beginning stages and things are unclear. There may be a lot of things that are going on. You could even be in a space of questioning what's happening the magician is definitely a card about being confident and understanding that you have everything necessary in order to bring this manifestation into your reality chill out y'all know the kids out so we have truth here judgment that's why my readings been out a little late as well because my baby's out and y'all know i gotta be mommy chill just leave it there so I get done. So we have judgment here. This is for Thursday. Will of Fortune. Six of Cups, Will of Fortune, Ten of Swords. So this is about seeing that things of the past have changed and embracing the end of that. This is about you, Taurus. So I feel like you're, you're needing to realize the truth. See the truth that things are balancing out. 
I feel like things are changing and I feel like they're fortunate changes. This is about really removing your past energy, past memories here and really focus on embracing the end of difficulties within your life. I feel like you've embraced that you um, or you're needing to embrace that you survived maybe the worst part of whatever this is. Hold on a second, y'all. All right. So let's move forward. We got the Four of Swords here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, right now may be a time for you to rest, rejuvenate. Um, yeah, I feel like you got a lot of anxiety. So some of you guys, I feel like King of One, now you could be dealing with a fire sign, or this can be you needing to focus on changing the way that you think because you're having a lot of anxiety. I feel like you just need to go within yourself, meditate, contemplate, rest, and rejuvenate. Okay? Take that time to yourself. I feel like you could be in a space of needing to weigh the pros and cons of whatever it is that you're going through. Eight of Swords, because you're really in a space of feeling trapped by your own fear. And it may be, I'm not, I'm not, okay, let me, it is an illusion. Some of you guys have illusions in your mind. You're creating these illusions, which are creating anxiety, um, lack of confidence. You need to be more aware of what's happening and be confident that you're moving in the right direction. Even at, listen, I tell people all the time, even if you don't know what the fuck going on, be confident that you're moving towards something that is in high vibration and in the best interest of yourself. Even if you don't know what the fuck going on, it could, listen, the worst, it could seem like the worst thing is happening to you, but that is God realigning your life so that you can get the best outcome. So be confident that, okay, I don't give a fuck what's going on here. The bet, the outcome of this is going to be in the best interest of me. I'm going to have what I desire. And even under here, you got fulfillment of wishes. So you're going to have what you desire, but you have to remove the fear. You have to remove the, the thoughts that are creating these obstacles that are not there. So we have trapped in fear Saturday. So we have two of wands here, three of swords in reverse. Some of you guys, I feel like you, you needed to heal from a past situation. Your perspective around something needs to change, even here. Last judgment, higher offense. I feel like here, there's you're, you're, you're really in this last stage here. I feel like you have a new life that is brewing underneath all of this. Um, but I feel like your perspective needs to change. Point blank period. Your perspective needs to change. For a lot of you guys, you've dealt with some sort of severance or heartache in the past. I feel like you're needed to heal from that. That's why you're trapped in fear. Because you're afraid that you're going to get your heart broke again. Listen, you you not you you're never gonna know unless you push yourself out there. <laughs> I was watching a meme or you know one of those video memes and it was funny. The dude was like, uh, "Me, my high ass trying to explain to my friend why he should shoot his shot." And he was like, "Uh, you miss ninety percent of the shots you don't take, but it's the truth. If you don't take no shots, you're gonna miss it anyway. So take your shot. You know, open yourself up to new possibilities. You never know." Endings and beginnings here. All right. I've definitely seen that. Who did I? I seen that in uh, Aries as well. So some of you guys could. I've seen hyphen in Aries. So some of you guys, either you got that in your chart or you're dealing with Aries. Let's see what messages we have. Messages, guidance. What messages, what guidance do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages, what guidance do we have? We want more. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, moving forward. Can you get me that? <laughs> What messages, what guidance do we have? Vitara, Solomon, Rising, Venus. Moving forward, give me one more. Vitara, Solomon. All right. Thank you. So the first one we have is go outside. It said you have been indoors. <laughs> we on the quarantine. <laughs> It says you have been indoors for too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Go in your backyard, you know, by yourself. Just roll around the fucking dirt or something. I don't know. Um, with purification here, it says it's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. And here I feel like it's definitely your mind that needs to be cleansed out because there are some feelings of restriction and some challenging thoughts that you're having. We also have be strong. It says you are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures, and your strength assures a happy outcome. With focus and tension under all this, it says keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. Some of you guys just need to stay focused. Wish fulfillment is on the line here. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all. Peace.